Hi, Adam. Hi, Katie. It's Wednesday. Welcome to my webcam on my computer, and I am in black and white. Though, that's not necessarily for a good thing. Um, so my computer's been acting really strange lately. And I get on here for the first time in forever to record my video on my computer because it's just easier that way for me because my phone has a lot of trouble uploading. And this is what the color looks like. I had to turn the color intensity on my webcam all the way down because this is what I look like. I'm green. Yeah. Green. Maybe more of a sepia. I don't have a nose. It doesn't look like I have a nose. Maybe this does something. Turn that down. Well, it did something. It's not necessarily exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay, well, this apparently isn't going to work for me today, but maybe I can compensate. Let us see. We're going to try some video effects. Video effects don't work. Okay, before I waste any more time, oh, maybe I can turn myself pink. No, I can't. Okay, so I'm not going to waste any more time. Um, Adam, you wanted me to pick a theme for this week. And I have the perfect theme. I've been thinking all week. And I, my theme was going to be pick a news story, either local, national, or international, and talk about it, pick it, I mean, it could be any news story, it could be a funny news story, it could be serious, it could be really stupid, it could be anything you wanted. Um, and just kind of give your opinion on it and all that fun stuff. But, um, I got smacked in the face with inspiration on the way home from school today. Well, actually, I was driving to pick my mom up from work. Sorry, I'm being really fidgety, aren't I? Um, I was driving... Um, I was obeying the law. I was driving, um, 20 miles per hour in the school zone with the, while the lights were flashing. Nah, sorry, the, the whole black and white thing is getting my nerves. But I was driving 20 miles per hour while, this, while, while the lights were flashing in the school zone. And from out of nowhere, this car comes behind me and passes me going like 40. And so it really made me stop and think, what is my view on people? Just people in general, society, people, you know, people, human nature. Not even really nature, just human think, human acts that people say are nature but really aren't nature. That's better. But, um, I am going to talk a little bit about, um, how I view the world. Um, and this is going to be my theme. This is kind of, go along with it, tell me what your view of society is, that fun stuff. Um, but, you know, when I was little, I saw the world in a really really, really good light. You know, my dad, he is, um, and this might sound really stereotypical of me, but I'm the one stereotyping my own family, so it's, um, not too offensive, but, um, my dad's really conservative, especially because we live in Texas, um, where most people will be conservative. Um, and he, like, even when I was younger, he would just bash politicians, he would, you know, give a really conservative viewpoint on things and be really mean and harsh about people 
that were in the news that I didn't seem to have any problem with. I, I didn't have any problem with Bill Clinton when I was four years old. I, I hardly even knew who he was. I only knew I only knew that he was the president, and that's really it. But um, you know, I, I had a really innocent view on the world. But you know, as I've gotten older and I've gotten more responsibilities for myself, I've been able to see some things. You know, me, I'm different. That's I. That's probably the most obvious thing I can tell you. And you know. Throughout school, I've been, you know, bullied and picked on and stuff, and um, I always thought, you know, kids are cruel. Kids will always be cruel, and that's just how kids are. But um, I've really had my viewpoint changed, and especially the last six months, because I am going to take that example that I gave you at the beginning. Um, and apply it. Um, when I started driving, um, that is whenever I really, really, really became disappointed, especially with Americans. I became so disappointed because people would be so rude and pe people break the law for the stupidest things. Like um, in the school zone, that lady, you know, she was headed towards Loveland, um, which is the nearest bigger town that has, you know, restaurants and stuff and you know what makes me think is what's more important the life of a child um, or that Big Mac you're about to go get I mean is it really necessarily necessarily necessary to speed in a school zone when that school zone even going 20 miles per hour you're gonna get through it in about two minutes because sundown is not that big Sundown even isn't even hardly a mile. It's not even really a mile in length. And it just, I don't see the point. Or like people who um, are rude just to be rude on the road, you know, they'll, you know, sit at a green light for five minutes and then go right before it turns red and then you can't go. I, I've, I've really become disappointed with people because it's just, I've seen how rude people can be. But, um, yeah, so needless to say, um, my view on society and my view on people isn't quite so innocent anymore and I don't really have a good view of society and people anymore. You know, there are really good people and I view them as good. But people who should be pe who should be good, you know, average everyday people, or even politicians, I just don't have any respect for anybody anymore. You know, um, this might sound like probably the most conservative thing that you've probably heard me say, because um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty conservative myself. I'm just not as out there as my dad. But um, you know, I'm, you know, you hear cases like about. Congressman Weiner, who, you know, had, or well, let me put it this way, committed adultery, um, and took nude photos. I mean, he's a freaking politician. He should not be doing these things. Just because he shouldn't. Because he needs to be setting an example. And that's my rant. Oh yeah, and Adam, this video is getting really long. I'm so sorry for this. I spent too much time at the beginning of the video, but I don't have time to um, record. But um, Adam, I totally agree with the whole Pottermore thing, and I better be getting my freaking letter email <laughs> um, by like the next two days because it's past the middle of August, and I still don't have my second letter. Well, I have the second letter, but not my third one, because it really ticked me off when they said, oh, well, you have been selected. We will send you another email to let you know that you can get in. Send me the freaking email already. Just, just send it to me. I, I, I want it now. But yeah. Anyways, 
But yes, I started school on Monday, and I have some physics homework and some Algebra 2 homework to go do, as well as America's Got Talent at 8. So, I will see you guys later. DFTBA, and um, please pay attention, make sure you paid attention to the theme, because I know it's really confusing, but, um, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry for the black and white. I'll try to fix it by next Wednesday. Okay. Bye. Adam, I'll see you on Monday, and Katie, I'll see you on Friday.